Alright my fighters, so today we are going to talk about the fact that there is something huge or something fun actually <laughs> that is coming during April in Dragon Ball Legends. But before we start, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it. And if you enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button. Now without any further ado, let's just get started. So first of all, as you can see, during uh, part uh, or actually during reveals and stuff episode 21 uh, after they revealed ultra super saiyan blue kaioken goku toshi said i just wanted to let everybody know that we are cooking up something fun <laughs> for people to enjoy this april so please be on the lookout uh, for for that so basically as you can see they are actually teasing us with something coming during april and this could mean one of two things Either they are actually creating a character that is going to be a big surprise or something that people really wanted for a long time or they are actually preparing a celebration or an event that they are going to release which is going to be a huge one. So one of these two and I, I am leaning towards the event or celebration more actually, but they could also uh, do the character as well. Now, in case it is a character, what could they do to make it fun and huge as well to make people want actually to wait for it? Well, it could be maybe the transforming Super Saiyan Blue, whether it is Goku, whether it is Vegeta or Gogeta and Vegito, uh, one of them uh, who transforms either from base form to Super Saiyan Blue or in case of uh, Goku and Vegeta it could be actually from uh, Super Saiyan God to Super Saiyan Blue as well. So a transforming Super Saiyan Blue is one of the wanted uh, transforming characters that we don't have until now in the game. Another character could be actually the fusing uh, ca uh, character or tag character. Basically we have Goku tag, v tag Vegeta or maybe Goku assist Vegeta. It, it could be actually assist as well and maybe they get defeated and they revive and uh, t uh, and fuse actually into Gogeta or Vegito uh, or in case they are assist they could actually use their main ability maybe to to fuse into Gogeta or Vegito. I think that these are the two most wanted uh, types of characters that we don't have until now in the game. Uh, if there are any other, please let me know about them in the comments section below because they might be actually the thing that they are teasing right now. But I think that the fusing characters are actually the thing that they are going to hit hardest with because of the fact that people really want to see uh, what they see actually in Dokkan. For example, we have Goku and Vegeta together as one character and then after a specific condition is met, they actually fuse and become Gogeta or become Vegito. So I really think that most of the people want this specific feature to be in the game. And after we saw the assist characters and we saw the tag characters as well, I think that it is pretty granted uh, and it is very safe to, as to assume that they are going to implement that feature sooner or later. Most, it might be actually during the anniversary or they could maybe leave it until the, uh, uh, until the uh, Legends Festival maybe. Or <laughs> they could also do it during April to actually uh, to uh, gain as uh, or to take actually as many uh, chrono crystals as possible from the players before the fourth anniversary because as you know every time we reach a specific celebration that is extremely hype mainly the anniversary and legends festival they try their best to drain as many chrono crystals as possible before that celebration starts and this is normal this is actually how business work so basically this is how they try to uh, to make money during the anniversary and the legends festival so if they are saying that there is something fun that they are cooking up and if it is actually a character that they are teasing us with I believe that it could be something that people really wanted for a long time 
and they are going to implement it now so that they could actually make as many people as possible hype about it and uh, spend their crown crystals and then once the uh, the anniversary starts which is actually not not in april but at the end of may so basically it's not so far away uh, we are going actually to need to buy Chrono Crystals in, in order to be able actually to summon or we aren't going to be able to summon as much as we want. So basically I believe that this is what they are going to do in case they are teasing us with character here. Now they could as well as I said before be teasing us with an event or celebration. A celebration is something actually hard to believe because of the fact that uh, they are going to give us the uh, the anniversary celebration already in, uh, in May and we just finished the uh, the bottle hour celebration so starting with another celebration is something r really rare actually in Dragon Ball Legends but they could do it I am not saying that they aren't going to do it but it's very rare actually uh, so what I believe is actually a new type of event that they that they are preparing that they didn't give us any information about until now now this event could be really awesome and it could be really bad because every time they actually release a new mood or a new type of event they say that it is going to be really awesome and most of the time unfortunately it ends up disappointing <laughs> like seriously disappointing so we will see what they are going to do, but if it gives a good amount of Chrono Crystals, it's good. <laughs> if it doesn't, then it's not good. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, if it gives maybe 500 Chrono Crystals, that would be really awesome. And the gameplay is actually another aspect of how good it is going to be. If it is as as uh, boring as the tournament of power then that is going to be really disappointing but we will take the chrono crystals don't don't be mad <laughs> don't be sad toshi we are going to take the chrono crystals we aren't going to say no <laughs> so yeah basically we will see what they are going to do as i said before if it is a character i believe that they are going to implement a new feature that has been uh, wanted for a long time uh, in the game uh, because they know everything that we want they literally know everything that we want in terms of events and in terms of characters and that's why they want actually to keep them for specific places that they want actually to release them at where they are going to get the maximum profit from them so it could be something uh, huge that will make people want to spend their chrono crystals or it could be actually something really awesome as a celebration or an event that is going to give us actually Chrono Crystals. It would be really awesome if they actually give us Chrono Crystals instead of take from us. But we know that there is a Legends Limited character coming during April. And they are going to try to their best to make that character actually a character that wants to that make you want actually to spend your crown crystals on. So we will see what they are going to do. Let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below. And as always, I hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too. And if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends and with that being said see you as always in the next video of Dragon Ball Legends.